Welcome at Judo Insights Preview, usually with the Grand Slams or the Grand Prix or maybe a European or Continental Open. Now this weekend it is a little bit quiet. What is it? I don't think so, because uh, usually the youngsters look at Judo Insight and they Judo Insight all their opponents and that's well done because uh, this weekend there's a European Cup for Cadets in Tver in Russia. Usually quite a strong event with a lot of Russians there, obviously. Uh, but if you browse through the results, you can see that there is a little pattern of your performances uh, are building up towards the juniors. So let's zoom in to the European Cup for juniors in Athens. Usually this was a little bit of a weak European Cup, but during the years this has gone much better. It's improved a lot and uh, well, we've seen a few very good winners in the past, like Lascia Shafta Tourishvili, now Olympic champion. Uh, we had uh, Barbara Matic, now a double world champ. Uh, we have Aftandil Tsirkashvili, who won in Athens as well. And also uh, Orkan Safarov from Azerbaijan, he's now also doing well and won a world uh, championships medal. So, big names actually. And last year, uh, the European Cup in Athens was won by Ushangi Margiani and also Borislava Damianova of uh, Bulgaria. Both are doing well in the in the seniors, and we could see that last week of uh, Oshangi Margiani. Um, let's zoom into the field of Athens. Now it's, it's quite strong in most uh, middle categories, over 40 uh, participants. That is a lot, that is really strong, and there are some real strong opponents from 30, uh, 31 nations, and I think over 300 registrations so far. So this is really an event to look forward to this weekend in Athens. Be there, we follow it this this week, of course, um, each category for you. Judo inside all those guys, you can probably see or know who are your teammates fighting there, and there are really some strong teams. For instance, uh, um, of course, the, the Greek team with more than 50 judoka. The Georgians are 45, and seven among them, even the women. Uh, then there are some teams who sent in the men, like France, they have 10, Russia, they have 14, and also Serbia, 9 men, and usually they're also among those medalists. Also, there are some nations who just send in the women, like Argentina, like Israel, Israeli women are also pretty strong, so have a look at them. Enough reasons to look forward and to judo inside all those guys uh, when you are in your preparation, of course, because you have to, to look into your opponents as well. What I'm closely looking at is what will happen in Japan, in Fukuoka. There will be the All Japan Championships, and you can make it or you can break it there. You can make your season there. Because if you become a champion there, there you get the chance or uh, some good uh, Grand Slams or Grand Prix uh, this season. And that will be interesting because you can also break your season. And if you're not becoming the number one of your country, man, you can shake it. Because you can be an Olympic champion, but I spoke to Matsumoto in the beginning of this year. And uh, Kaori Matsumoto said, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is become a champion in the, uh, in the category under 57 kilograms. Otherwise, my season is kind of broken. I have no guarantee of a World Championships place this year if I won't become the champion of Japan. So, we're zooming into this weekend's All Japan Championships in Fukuoka. Please do as well, and we're looking at all the details again this weekend. Go and use our stat generator uh, under the here, the Judoka, and you can see lots of nice statistics. Have a look at them, judo inside all those guys, and stay inside. See you next week.